Hello everybody, this is Bitten7 on my Bitten Gaming channel and welcome back to Mission in Snowdrift Land. We have now beaten all the levels in the game and now we just got one mini boss left and then the final boss of the game. So, we hinted at this a few episodes ago, green ectoplasm in the snow. It Did somebody just throw up there from space? Or, or, get this, it could be radioactive Activity. Something could have been impacted by the terrible decisions by corporate America. And that is what's beneath the snow there. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mini boss time! Cold man! I'm gonna miss you! Cold man! This is the last time I see you until next year, probably. Stay calm and wait for the right time to strike. That seems like the case with a lot of bosses. Kind of disappointing if that's the way it is, but oh my goodness. Scorpum! <laughs> Scorpum! Oh, but I can't even jump on scorpions. Oh, goodness. All right, so last mini boss of the game. Oh, so the ectoplasm. Oh, he went to sleep. He can only throw so many balls of goo before he just cannot contain himself anymore. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. What's happening? Okay, so he throws the balls. It creates a puddle on the sinking rocks that you can't even touch. So you can't touch the balls of goo. You can't touch the puddles created by the balls of goo. Also, what if I stand here? <laughs> that answers that question. He does not like that very much. Okay, so... Cold man, I know what you're trying to say. You were saying, wait for him to pass the heck out and then strike. Oh, does it reset the time to go on that ledge? Because I might have just been screwing all this up. Ooh, he's ahead of me in health. That's not good. I love the color palette of this boss. I do really like it. It's like a lot of fun greens and blues. And look at that Scorpu. I mean, he's purple and blue, or green. And I'm dead and green. So he falls asleep pretty quick. And then I guess maybe every single time he wakes back up, he takes longer to pass out. I don't know. I don't know if he's aiming at me or if the balls are going to preset locations. And the pattern just gets harder every time. I do not know. That would be fun if it was some predetermined patterns and I don't know it's like I'm I feel like that could be the case with a lot of episodes where it just seems like I'm intentionally running into every possible thing that's available to be running into I mean I have one health left that oh I'm dead and left wait I just testing purposes and that's what I thought so the slime kills you it's like swamp water and also like lava it's probably some kind of radioactive equipment designed by the NSA in order to infiltrate the den of the scorpions. I don't know why they would want to do that, but that sounds like a fun activity to do on a weekend with your girlfriends. So maybe that's it. And maybe that's a respectable decision. Destroy the economy and the environment of the world in order to just have some fun. Have some fun and make some money. That's, you know what? That's stupid and dumb. All right, he's got two health left. I don't know if this is the farthest that I've been or if he's, I've had him lower, but I am beating him. I've got three health left, he's got two. So, I mean, really, I'm just vibing here. Oh my gosh, it's like as soon as he falls asleep, I completely forget how everything works and I fall onto one of those puddles. Uh, I don't really know, but he's on his last piece of health. And goodness, I don't know. This guy is tricky. Oh, I got one health. He's got one health. Now it's time to kiss. Oh, oh, oh that was really close, but now he's dead. I saw his tail glow and flash in the wind. I wonder if that was an indicator that he was going to wake up soon. But yeah, that was it. The last mini boss of the game. I just got the achievement for it. And I think I've gotten all the achievements now. So yeah, Scorpu. 
Scorpu, with Scorpu, you cleared the last obstacle in your way. Now proceed to El Pix's lair and take him out in a final battle. Oh, I sure will. Don't even worry about it. Purple man, that I don't really know your backstory or anything. All right, next time we're going to be jumping right into the gut of El Pix, I guess. I don't know if this statue is real and canonical or if it's just for the map. I think it could possibly be an indicator that Elpix has taken over Snowdrift Land. Maybe he's the villain all along.